Hi everybody, it's Ray, it's Life and Vibe, and there was a request for me to cover the thank you, you, 100,000 beautiful souls morning chat. He couldn't just put thanks or something, but anyway, 100,000 beautiful souls, I guess for today, because we are going to be having a boycott of Sarasota Tim coming up on Monday, July the 1st, that will be Monday. We're going to boycott him on Tuesday, July the 2nd, and he can be, if you want, off boycott on July the 3rd, which is when I restart my classes. But I will be doing a video specifically about the boycott. We want to see how many of his views are from actual true followers of Tim enjoying his content and how many are just people hate watching as he likes to call it. So that is something that is coming up. Other creators are supporting this. I support it. And this weekend, I've got a lot of stuff to do. So I may not be posting very much. And people are starting to get busy for the 4th of July weekend, getting their holiday plans. And so it's not necessarily always the busiest time of year for views anyway. But without that said, let me just throw out my fair use. We know how it is. I am doing this video for entertainment purposes only, and these videos are just my opinion, and even though I am a registered nurse trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner here in the United States, I'm not treating or diagnosing Tim, and I'm just giving my opinions, and I just want to make people aware of that. All right, Tim, I got Judge Mathis lined up, ready to go. I can't wait to hear how cheerful you are this morning. Um... You know, we're in the parking lot. That's already a good start. I guess Miss Tammy, the human tripod, has thrown in her towel and says, no more, sir. I will not do this video anymore. All right, let's make sure we start him from the beginning. He's at 1.25. Let's make this fast, Tim. I got things to do tonight. Oh, take it away, Tim. Hey, good morning, everybody. Sarasota Tim. How are you 100,000 beautiful souls doing this morning? I'm doing great. It is early. I uh, did take a shower, even though I might look, I'm still uh, just half out of bed. I got my uh, Travis Matthews $100 golf shirt on that I threw down for that uh, you may or may not say it's any better than the Walmart Ben Hogan. You didn't throw down for it. Some guy sent you some buy me a coffee money for that shirt. And I remember quite clearly that he sent you money for clothing. So you didn't throw down anything for it, Tim. You don't throw down for anything. You only throw down for an $11 parking lot. You won't throw down to 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 park. Well, you had to throw down for that because that was at the hotel. But uh, you didn't even throw down to uh, pick up Miss Tammy in some short-term parking at an airport. What are you talking about throwing down? You don't throw down anything, mate. You just throw down this nonsense content on a daily basis. Ten videos of just parking lots highways and goodness knows what other shenanigans he puts out. God, I'm real feisty this Friday. But it feels good. <laughs> got some blue shorts on, blue shoes on, and I'm on my way back home. But first... Home? You don't have a home, Tim. You, you've got an RV, which technically means you're unhoused. I, I'm not trying to say anything against RV people, but technically, it's not a home. <laughs> Okay, it's an RV. Just want to point that out. Okay, it's not like I said, deriding anybody who has an RV or is living in their RV. It's just that Tim should have said RV, not home. That's where you reside, I guess. It's not a home, though, Tim. It's not a home. I know you're trying to get a home and you're trying to get hold of Miss Tammy's money to get a home, but it's not a home. Just clarify. Okay, thank you. So I'm feisty today. <laughs> I got to come out here and feel this weather in Temecula. And I'm getting ready to go to McDonald's this morning, not only just to get Miss T her uh, Coke and a biscuit, but I'm going to meet Temecula J. Uh, that's his new nickname. Um, I got Great, because everyone has to have a geographical name. And I guess Miss Tammy's going to have a breakfast for champions this morning. All right, keep going. California Steve, and he lives in Temecula. And then yesterday, uh, Temecula J came by to visit me. Uh, he just showed up. He knew where I was at. He knows this area. He could figure it out from my videos, and that's fine. I was in the lobby waiting for California Steve, uh, Miss T and I, uh, to go golfing. Oh, I would not be happy if somebody just showed up on my doorstep. <laughs> just going to let you know. Neither would my dog, Junebug. And he comes in with a couple of uh, gifts and just wanted to say hello to me. I got a, um, mm. a golf towel 
uh, to wipe my clubs down. And you have these plastic rods that go down in your golf mm. bag that you actually put your golf clubs down in. Gosh, I cannot believe I'm already having to bring out Judge Mathis on you today. Jesus. <laughs> and I say that in the best possible way. No, no. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bag. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? I guess Tim's subscribers know the best way to get to Tim's heart is by bribing him with some gifts. Grown 65-year-old man taking gifts from other people. Lovely. And those little slots uh, in the tubes. They're long tubes. And uh, here, I'll show you one. And uh, they, they keep your clubs up so you can see what you're looking for when you're trying to find your pitching wedge or your putter or whatever. Let's see if this is open. Mm. Yeah. Here they are. I've got several. My nursing assessment is you don't look so good. <laughs> your eyes and stuff. You've got a lot of... Um you know, bagging, sagging under your eyes. You've been getting some late nights with Miss Tammy. <laughs> Love them. Right here. See? These tubes. And they just go down in the golf bag. And uh, you stick your clubs in there. I also received <clears throat> this beautiful towel mm. that has a hole in it that you can uh, put over your... Show you. Hang on. Looks like a poncho, see? You can lay that right over one of your clubs on top of the bag and you wet your towel. What happens is when you golf and you hit the ground, you get dirt in those little grooves, those little lines. And by having a wet towel, you keep your clubs nice and clean. So you get a good, pure, crisp, puts a spin on the ball and everything else. And um, of course, yesterday uh, when California Steve uh, came, he, he gave me a whole bunch of, see if I have them here, of, of balls. And he gave me a bag of teas because he always wants me to use a tee. I never use a tee usually on the fairway. I mean, on the, uh, not on the fairway, not supposed to use it on the fairway, on the tee box. Do you even know, you've never used a golf tee when you're teeing off? <laughs> I just have nothing else to say. <laughs> I guess he needed to be gifted some first, hey? My goodness, this is just oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to bring it out. Just bring Flim it out. Now, a trick or deception, especially a swindle or confidence game involving skillful persuasion or clever manipulation of the victim. A piece of nonsense, twaddle, bosh. Tim's a big flim flammer, he just likes to. <laughs> oh my goodness, and dry beggar and everything else. My goodness, Tim, keep going. Yeah, I he's make a great golfer, break. and he was trying to in a subtle way, to tell me to use some teas. And uh, what else he gave me, I just have to brag this morning and show you guys. Mm. A whole bag. First of all, he did buy me this hat when he sponsored me to play. Uh, not this one. Um, where is it? Right here. Um, Coral Canyon in uh, St. George, Utah. Uh, he told me to pick up a, a hat in the pro shop when he paid from California a round of golf for me to play in St. George. Did he send that through PayPal or buy me a coffee? Well, how did he get that money to you, Tim? Did he just Venmo it to you? <laughs> how did you get your donation? Curious. Just asking for a friend. George, hadn't even met me yet. But look, I have a whole bag of Under Armour shirts. Mm. I mean, there must be a half a dozen of them in there, at least, um, that he gave me. And, oh, that's what Miss T was looking for yesterday, her Ray-Bans. I see them. I got them, Miss T. So, anyway, um, he uh, he sponsored yesterday's golf. That's nice. You're not going to try to take him up to the room for her? You're just going to throw him on the seat in case she sits on them? Oh, just always thinking of others is our friend, Tim. Always thinking of others. Uh, round two at um something creek i forget the name of it already it was a beautiful place i made a video it wasn't um the best round i've ever shot we were just out there having a great time and then after uh golf um miss t and i uh took california steve to lunch and we we could have went anywhere we wanted and we chose uh, a barbecue place where we had amazing barbecue now in the south i've had barbecue sandwiches that were about this big they were wrapped and you eat it and you're like mm, give me two more of them this was the biggest this was like a whopper and it had a barbecue falling out of it on the plate. A meal 
was had just in eating the excess that they put on top of the bun uh, before you got to the to the barbecue sandwich and it had uh, coleslaw on it. And then Miss T loves onion rings. We ordered a big uh, side thing of onion rings, of which California Steve was very good and refused to eat. He tries to be more healthy. Um, his wife keeps him that way. And I'm staying healthier too with all this walking and no eating at night and stuff that Miss T's got me on. But I have to go right now to McDonald's uh, to meet uh, Temecula J. Uh, and I'm going to take care of us for breakfast and coffee. And we're just going to get a little bit more acquainted than we had time to yesterday. You're not taking care of anybody. Absolutely not. <laughs> Mr. Pay it forward. Um, also, um, uh, California Steve, I mean, these people that I'm meeting uh, that want to make my acquaintance, uh, Apple Valley Timmy and all these guys that show up, uh, that watch my videos that just say, hey, I could be friends with that guy. I'd like to meet that guy. I'd like to play golf with that guy. I'd like to have a cup of coffee with that guy. The best coffee i ever had in my life. Well, they do it. They make the effort. And I'm a blessed man to have made the acquaintance of each of you. Yeah, and you make zero effort <laughs> in, in anything. You're just a taker. I, what happened to Teddy and Jolene? Where's Miss Jolene? Where's Teddy? Where are all your other friends that you supposedly had? Every one of these people. And even Miss Jamie and Tom that showed up there in uh, New Harmony, where I've got my camper, uh, that live in the area there in Utah, uh, receive emails from. What happened to that poor guy, Jay, that you bullied on the golf course? Where's Johnny Vegas and all that? The one who gives you the illegal prescriptions. And we'll get to that at the end of this video. Don't you worry, Tim. Her all the time. Tell me about things to do, places to go. And uh, they hope to make our acquaintance again uh, and meet Miss T before we leave that area. And that'll probably happen as well. So. I just wanted to say this morning that um, I am a blessed man and I like to know that I'm blessed because of my faith and the positive energy that I try to put. Only faith you have is faith that there's suckers out there who will give you stuff. That's the only faith you have, mate. Out there and the, the positivity that I only want to receive. I asked you all neg negativity. I asked you anything <clears throat> that is uh, downtrodden, down in the mouth. I don't want anything to do with it. And it's so easy to do, folks. When you only allow positivity into your life and when you only think positive things and when you try to share kindness uh, and I've, I've taken it to a new level. Oh, seeing the goodness. Yeah, because this is the level you're at. Confidence tricks to noun British, a person who tricks other people in order to get their money. Con artist. Yeah, one of those, Tim. That's what you are. Just reminding you, sweetheart, what I allegedly think you are. The kindness of Johnny Vegas, who we're going to see today and have lunch with. Oh, he's um, back. Just... The pure generosity, the kindness that I'm sharing and they share. The back and forth of just giving of love and friendship and, yes, even even finances. I mean, we can't keep up with who giving more or not. It's just, you know, we just... You don't give anything. You know why? Judge Mathis, come on out and tell this individual what's going on. No, no. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this drive back. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? My goodness, you're on a roll today. You're just taken from everybody. You don't give anything except your flapping jaws. <laughs> want to be together and, and give together and love together. And just, I, all I can tell love you folks together. is, it's not all about money. It's about kind words and showing that you give your time to write something, to come. You wouldn't even talk to Johnny Vegas until he, he literally bribed you with a set of golf clubs. <laughs> I'm sorry. He really is just on a roll today. Just, oh. And I guess, you know, you want to be part of the Tim Club. You want to give a bunch of stuff over to Tim. Well, if you do, guess what, folks? You can be part of the Tim Club. And he'll talk to you because he's a famous YouTuber. <laughs> and visit somebody to say something, to do something for others, uh, to pay it forward. When you live this kind of life, which is centered around Christianity, which is centered around focusing on God as your main source of supplier. Can you please stop you using religion to manipulate people? It's really, really becoming tiresome for me and exhausting. And I think for other people, too. Of all of your needs, of your health, your finances, your friendships, your successes in life. When you seek him first, uh, folks, <laughs> you are going to have the best life you could possibly imagine. And I think more and more people uh, that I'm discovering already live that life. More and more people are starting to live that life. Uh, we need more of that in this country now. Uh, there's so much evil and so much 
uh, downtrodden and down the mouth and people trying to bring others down for no reason whatsoever, other than their own pure motivation of nothing. And it's a pure stopping a scam. Stopping you from manipulating vulnerable, lonely, and elderly people, in my opinion. That's why I follow up with you. And you took an illegal prescription from Johnny Vegas. I hope his doctor knows. Because that's actually illegal in the United States. And called prescription misuse. And prescription uh, sharing is not allowed. Okay? So I'm glad you put it on video, Tim. For a waste of time. My encouragement to everybody out there today that's hearing my voice, if you know one thing, and that's one thing only, and that is to first seek the Lord Almighty as your Savior. And, you know, we, we talk about God on this channel occasionally. It's not a God channel. It's not a religious channel. It's not a preaching channel. But we don't hang our heads. Then why do you have crushing it for Christ and then pull out your holy Bible and try to read devotionals? Because you tried that, that manipulation tactic already in my mind. When we say we believe in God on this channel, I don't. And a lot of my subscribers don't either. I know a lot of people follow different faiths. I know a lot of people don't even believe, but that's fine. I can tell you this though, folks, those that do follow morality of whatever religion they're following, I think God sees that. <clears throat> I know God sees that. I know God sees people's hearts that are generous and kind and try to do good to other people and look for the best in other people that they are blessed. They, they reap rewards on my life. This vacation in California has been phenomenal. And I know it's just beginning my whole life with Miss T. How? You've been to Walmarts or an outlet mall or something. I'm, I'm sure there was a Walmart in there. I just missed it. Um, and you have seen nothing. You go to no historic places. You know nothing about the history of anything. And you really are a very dull tour guide. I haven't been able to watch any of the videos, actually, because I don't want to. My time is precious for me, and that might be 10 minutes I'll never get back in my life. I mean, we're going to go to the, uh, if God wills it, uh, to the uh, Zion National Park and Bryson and all these other wonderful places, these tips that I keep getting from my co-pilot, from a lot of you out there. And she's already just loving the mountains. Does she want to be out of Florida? No. Does she want to be away from her family? Heck no. But that's fine. And. I'm going to be right there with her. I support her. She is the best thing that's ever happened in my life. I've known this woman for more than 40 years. And we all go through periods, okay? And we don't want to waste another day. You can't get time back. Why waste one day of being sour, mean, unkind, or selfish in any way? You cannot get those days back. Days that you don't go out and live. Were you scratching your ear when you said selfish because you were referring to yourself? Was that the reason why you were scratching the ear? Seems like you're projecting a lot out here, Tim, today. Seems like you're very upset with maybe some of the commentary and reaction channels. Well, we'll see what happens on Monday and Tuesday with your views. Hopefully, there'll be less. We are really asking people not to watch this content on Monday and Tuesday because we want to gauge how many views are coming from actual people interested in this content and how many people just watch it because they really don't like him? Because there are people that watch people because they can't stand them. But you're giving them views and you're helping them make money. So we just ask you for the 4th of July to celebrate America's freedom that we get free from Tim for two days. That's all. Free from Tim. That's freedom, folks. That's freedom. And even if you don't spend money, you just go out and take a walk and take in the natural beauty. Feel the weather. Get some steps in. Something to do for your life to keep. You know, I was talking the other day uh, to California Steve. I got to wrap this up because I got to get going. But I didn't want to make a downer video, but I was thinking about mortality. You know, Johnny Vegas shared with me, he had two friends, 66 years old, both passed away recently. Johnny Vegas is 66. I'm 65. The average age for a male is only 73 years old in the United States. It it's 74. Get some new statistics. I've already showed you that one, Tim. <laughs> Gosh, it's like beating a dead horse with him. It was 76. They brought it down. They're killing us with the food and we're killing ourselves of how we live and lack of exercise and whatever other things, stress, whatever. But one of them passed away of a massive heart attack right in his kitchen. And, and, and sat there for a week uh, before somebody found him. Another one found a pain 
and went to the doctor and the doctor says you got cancer of the liver and you got a maybe you shouldn't tell people not to visit doctors hey because maybe if these folks were having their blood pressure regularly monitored from an earlier age they would have caught the fact that their blood pressures were high maybe had had medication or had changed their risk factors or both but you know don't see a doctor don't monitor your blood pressure. Don't do things that could actually contribute to having a long and healthy life. You know, where you're eating, mate, you are going to have a coronary. All that that big old barbecue and stuff, it's not recommended for somebody your age. I'm just going to let you know. But, you know, go ahead, Tim. Live your truth. Month to live. And he was gone in two weeks. And then we read about others, like famous people. You might know people in your own family, uh, people that wanted to wait till they were full retirement age to quit working their prison job and get their Social Security and start to travel, play golf, just go to the beach, work on your tan, read a book, sit at home, take walks, you know, spend more time with your spouse. And yet they're just, no, no, no. And then they're taken from this world, massive heart attack, other gizzards wear out, you know, hips wear out, different things, eyesight, hearing, uh, their faculties are changing. They don't want to do what they that's why I recommend that you start seeing a physician early or you minimize your risk factors. Don't be out there eating barbecue and get McDonald's in the morning. That would be two recommendations I could make right there. I mean, if you want to treat yourself to it once in a blue moon, I mean, I still don't recommend it after a certain age because it's just not healthy for the arteries, okay? You might be wanting to do a leaner type of meat, not a sweet old saucy barbecue. Anyway, you make you make your choices, Tim. They wanted to do when they were a little bit younger. Folks, live your life. I mean, when you think about how much runway you've got in front of you versus what you've got behind you, when you're in your 60s and you know the average age is only 73. Yes, people live to 80 and 90 years old. Yes, they live to be 100. But you don't see them people jogging up and down the street. Live your best life now. You've worked and... and what do you mean? I see a bunch of retirees playing pickleball every day. And I'm sure they're your age or older, Tim. You're just talking absolute blathering nonsense. These are just the people you know. No, not other people, too. You've lived a very narrow life. That's all I'm going to say. In a very narrow world. You paid your dues your whole life. Get yourself out of debt. Get your free check coming in at 62 years old. Get yourself a little part-time side hustle. It's free because you're claiming it off your other spouse. I don't even know which number, uh, her social security. So you think it's free because you didn't contribute Jack to anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is about the worst morning chat I've ever heard. Same old, same old nonsense that he usually says, in my opinion. Sorry, I'm feisty today. Because Tim is just on a roll, man. I, I want to see how his numbers are affected. Monday and Tuesday. Please join us in not watching Tim. I don't watch most of his videos. I can promise you that on a daily. Just the ones I react to, because that's about all I can manage. So quit working 40, 50 hours a week. Just work a little bit. Support yourself, supplement your income, lower your means, get a smaller place to live. Get rid of the high car payments. Get a good, reliable Japanese car. Do buy an RV, move into... <laughs> The other day you were rolling around trying to get a, you know, a half a million dollar plus house and uh, park your RV there. Can you make your mind up? Can you not go like so labile all the time? A cottage. You know, I'm not suggesting what you do, folks. I'm just saying, you know, become more of a minimalist. Life is about living and going and doing. That's what Miss T and I want to do. We could care less about one of these big houses up on the mountain. <laughs> Would we buy it if we won the lottery? Probably would have to for an investment, right? Yeah, that's what they that's what those people are doing. That's where they're putting their money. Their money is in a in real estate. They have so much of it. How about sharing a little bit of it with us? <laughs> How much is the East Wing? We'll rent it from you. But I mean, oh, for God's sake, I gotta bring out Judge Mathis. No, no. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have that dry bagging. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Yeah, we know what that is, Tim. Seriously, it's all relative. That that's a, a very, uh, and a lot of them people are not happy folks. A lot of them people fall ill. A lot of them people can't even leave those houses. You know, be thankful. I've always said this. If you've got a roof over your head, you drive a reliable car and you got food in your belly, you're a rich person. I mean, anything else is a bonus. Then why did you trade in when you had a sedan call up to the RAV4, up to the Tundra truck? What I know the Tundra probably cause you're pulling the RV. 
You're not exactly living a minimalist lifestyle, Tim. Nobody thinks you're a minimal minimalist. I apologize. We see all the stuff in the back of your car. <laughs> a whole bag of shirts. Like you need you needed more golf shorts. Like I need a hole in the head. But Jeff Bezos, uh, anybody, any any rich person you can think of, if they were laying horizontal in a hospital bed and couldn't get out of it, they'd give it all away to be able to be doing what I'm doing right now. Standing. Jeff Bezos is on all sorts of human growth hormones, in my opinion, and then probably getting all sort of sorts of biohacking doctors on his side. You think Jeff Bezos not taking care of his health and trying to find out what things can increase his longevity? <laughs> you think he's making the poor choices about health that you make? Jeff Bezos looks jacked at the moment. He don't look like the Jeff Bezos he did when he stole to Amazon. I promise you. Take a look at the pictures. He now looks like he's he's working for like the KGB. Up, relatively perfectly healthy, and can walk down the road and come out and enjoy myself. So remember, folks, what's important in life: kindness. God says that love is the most important commandment of all. Keep sharing that love; it will come back to you. You will absolutely get back what you. Why don't you be kind and not dry beg for for coffee donations? I'd be kind. That would be a kind hold to things to do. Not try to manipulate lonely, vulnerable, and potentially elderly individuals. That'd be kind. That would be a kind thing to do, Tim. Why don't you do something kind, like actually give charity to people who are unhoused, living in areas of economic distress? Why don't you do something like that? What about all those golf shirts that you have in your extra? He thought about maybe donating those to people who need some clothing? No, Tim too greedy for that. He probably tried to sell them to a thrift store you put into this world and i want to thank everybody i didn't even mention uh that are in my comments and all 150,000 beautiful souls of you out there that um, may see this video someday that may be encouraged in some way to remember now i know last night there was a <clears throat> a big thing on tv i heard about it i think i i did turn it on for about five minutes and um it was that big debate about who's going to run the country i can tell you this folks i can just do out of the politics, please. <laughs> okay, Tim. I promise you, you haven't paid enough taxes. You don't own property. Out of politics, mate. Tell you this. That that person is not running the country. There are other powers running this world. It is not that man, and it will not be the other man. Those are head figures. Those are to distract you. You know, look over here. Don't look over here. Yeah. And the only person running this country and it's running your life, running my life, is upstairs. It doesn't Oh, goodness me. Here we go. Confidence tricks to noun British, a person who tricks other people in order to get their money. Con artist. Yeah, we know what you do with the Holy Bible, sweetheart. Matter who's in that office. It doesn't matter what's going on. It doesn't matter what you read or see on social media. It doesn't matter, folks. Not one bit. They have no power at all except for the power you give them. The only real power, the supplying power, the real power, the power you will definitely know and see and feel, and it's good power, is from God Almighty upstairs. And if it's um, if it's uh, the higher power or the universe that you worship, but you're a moral person and you just believe in doing good to other people, you don't have meanness in your body. You are a loving person towards people. You want the best for other people. You help other people. You support other people and things and animals. I heard you describing people who are unhoused and maybe economically distressed as, and I hate even using this word, bums. Just saying, Tim. And things like that. Then you're a good person. And I say, you're the type of person that's crushing it. Mm, goodness me. Hey, good morning, oh. everybody. Sarasota. Oh, no, no, we don't need, we don't need more Tim. We do not need more Tim. <laughs> I'm sorry. Try to stop those as soon as I can. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know, and I'm sure Tim subs love this, and this will probably get more, you know, response to my emails, and I'm okay with that. But um, I did want to show that uh, I was not happy as a registered nurse that Tim was getting a prescription from another source of person who had been prescribed. And he clearly said, I got a lidocaine patch with some extra to it from Johnny Vegas. His doctor prescribed it to him. Well, just to let you know that that's illegal to take somebody's 
prescription it doesn't matter if it's a controlled narcotic it doesn't matter if it's a ritalin or if it's opioid medication and ms cotton or oxycodone a percocet it doesn't matter to him it's illegal and so i made sure i reported you to uh, youtube about that they probably won't do anything but i reported you i had to i'm sorry i'm not sorry actually i'm sorry i it took me a day to do it <laughs> That's the only thing I'm sorry about. All right, guys. If you do like this type of content, make sure that you do hit the subscribes. It seems like a good plan. Hit me a like because that puts me up the algorithm. Leave comments. I may I may answer them. I might just get a love heart. Who knows? All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. And as we said, starting the 1st of July, it's Monday and Tuesday, we are not going to be watching Tim. We are boycotting Tim. All right, guys. Catch you later. Bye.